welcome to our guide on how to correctly measure your 12, 24 or 48 volt Vetus BowPro thruster system. Your BowPro thruster is part of an intricate installation and relies on an accurate power supply to function properly. In this video, we'll provide you with guidance on how to perform accurate measurements, helping you avoid issues or making it easier for us to assist you when needed. Here's what you'll need. 1. The Vetus Table of Frequent Errors 2. BowPro Assistance Form 3. A Dependable Multimeter 4. Access to Batteries, Cables and BowPro Connections The easiest way to determine if there might be a power-related issue is through the LED indicator light and alarm sound on the BowPro control panel. The color and frequency of the blinking will tell you the nature of the problem. In the video description, you will find the table with the most frequent errors. If the power supply to the bow thruster is low, you'll notice that the LED lights blink faster. This could be a blue LED blinking quickly, a red LED blinking fast, or the top left and right LEDs blinking more rapidly than usual. If you hear a buzzer sound along with this, it means there's a problem. To determine the origin of the problem, you must measure the voltage on the batteries and on the thruster. First, make sure you have a dependable multimeter. When taking these measurements, set it to the DC voltage setting. Measure the voltage at the poles of the batteries. For the BowPro unit, check the voltage at the motor controller's terminals. For your own troubleshooting, and in case a Vetus dealer is required to help, it is necessary you write down all measured values. You can use the BowPro assistance form as a guideline, which you will find in the video description. Use the bottom part of the form for filling in the measured values. Before measuring, be sure that you have switched off the battery charger. Then make sure your multimeter is set in the DC voltage range. Now you can start measuring. First, check the voltage of the batteries when there's no load on them and note this value. Next, turn on the thruster to apply a load to the system and measure the battery voltage again. Record both readings in the log. Next, we'll check the voltage at the thruster. Measure it without any load and write down what you find. Then, measure it again while the thruster is under load. Make sure to record both sets of measurements in the log. It's crucial to compare these values. In standard circumstances, the difference should drop less than 10 to 15%. If your values without load are not within the range recommended by Vetus, first completely charge your batteries. If the voltage in a 24 volt system falls below 21 volts when it's under load, the low voltage alarm will go off. If there's a difference of more than 15% in the readings, it might point to problems with your wires or connections. If your values under load are not within the range recommended by Vetus, ensure all your components are properly installed, tightened and free from defects. Any of these components can impact the power quality. Remember, the length and quality of your cables can lead to voltage drops. Ensure they meet our specifications for optimal performance. If you've checked that the batteries are fully charged, all connections are secure and all components are correctly installed, then the system should work correctly. If you need more help or have any questions, please contact our support team. Filling out the technical assistance form beforehand will really help us assist you better. Thank you for watching and safe boating.